All right guys, what's up? So today we are going to go mountain biking, as you may suspect, but we are going to Manitoba's only lift access mountain bike park. This opened two years ago, or the start of last year, at Assisipi Ski Hill. They've been taking their time, they've been building a lot of trails, it's a lot of work, a lot of labor, but they've actually got some cool stuff out there. So what we're gonna do is drive out there, we're gonna flip back to the start of the day, we'll go drive out there, we're gonna check out some of the trails and see what Manitoba has to offer for a prairie landscape, what we can do with downhill tracks here. Okay guys, today we are all registered up already, just went in, got my name tag or whatever it is to get me on the lift, and we're at Manitoba's only lift access uh, downhill mountain bike park. Okay guys, we're all geared up, we're ready to roll, we're out of Assisipi again, and uh, we're about to go ride some trails. Alright, let's head up here, I believe we go this way, and we'll start off on the what they call the bunny hill. So we're gonna start up on the bunny hill, do some warm-up laps, and uh, see what it's like. This place is a ski hill in winter. Okay, so we're going full goggles for this one, keep the wind out of the face. We have got the Smith Squad mountain bike specific goggle. So this one's got a lot of breathability so it doesn't fog up. Checking out the magic carpet and just the warm-up trails. Flowy, fun, little jumps. Well, we'll give it a go. Ooh, coming into them a little fast. Definitely a slower pace section. I think we're ready for the bigger trails already. So the warm-up section, it's full of tight berms, small jumps. Really good for a beginner or potentially um, anyone who just needs to get their legs warmed up for the day of riding. All right, we're going down the first jump line of the day. We want to go down route, shoot. Be 
kind rewind. So just to the first downhill trail, really fun. I definitely need to get a trail map so I know which way to go. Um, but they're aggressive. I'm actually gonna turn my suspension to the softer downhill mode. I thought potentially I'd just leave them in trail mode, but definitely there's some rough sections. We just did root shoot and it's definitely a bumpy, rooty area. So yeah, let's uh, keep on going. I'm good, I'm good. Oh, I was not ready for that. All right, we're joined by Ali here. He's gonna lead the way down zero gravity. And I will try not to crash. follow. Skinny looks uh, fun. Okay, yeah.
drop. Woo!
a little bit for everyone. I definitely recommend anyone who's really getting into mountain bike starting to head up here and have a check out of this place. The bunny hill here for me was a little too basic, but I really think anyone who's just starting mountain biking and looking to get into the looking to get into the uh, technical side of it, hitting bums, small rollers, small jumps, that bunny hill you could probably excel multiples of years worth of trail riding in just a day on that bunny hill then there's the jump lines you know again they're all medium sized i wouldn't give any of them large but they're big enough to have fun on you potentially could pull a couple of tricks the trails are really well done really well designed and if you go they can expand these trails even bigger right now I don't know how many trails there is, but it was enough to fill my day, no problem. So what's cool about this is Mississippi is developing more and more trails, and the more people that go, the more trails they'll be able to develop. As you all know, mountain biking is huge tourism right now. Regardless of COVID, getting out there and being active is becoming more popular every single year. So to have more locations to go where they're really well dialed is gonna be exciting to try out, and I'm 